Hi everyone, um, so I wasn't really sure what to do for my next video. Um, I had a few requests for a what's in my bag video, so I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. There's not really anything interesting in my bag, um, but I wasn't really sure what else to do a video on, so this is what you've got. Um, this is my bag. It is just a big satchel brown leather bag um, with a little suede kind of handle or suede leather effect and it's got this nice little fabric -y bow on there which you can take off it's not fixed on there and then it's got the, this like, gold clasp on the top and so I'll just go dive straight in there first things first is my mobile phone um, it's in this little pouch, um, it's like a little cushioned pouch with a little birdie on it, how cute is the bird? How cute is the bird? Um, this, my nan made this for me, um, and yes, just keeps it nice and safe in there. And then this is my phone, just like a white protective case on it. And yes, that goes everywhere with me, I don't be leaving the house without that. Um, next is some sunglasses, again in a case made by my lovely Nan, and they're just some, um, what are they called, Wayfarer style, like Ray-Ban rip-offs, um, I think they're from Arc. I think they were like a fiver in the sale or something, so that's them. Um, some Tesco vouchers, because I spend too much money at Tesco's, and then they say I can have things for free, because I spend too much money. Um, my purse. Oh, I love this purse. Um, it's just a leather purse with like imprints on it. And this was my boyfriend's Nan's purse, which she gave she gave to me. And then yeah, it's just got all my cards and stuff in there. Um, a little bit of moolah and receipts and things. And then a bit where the money's meant to go and there's nothing in there. Oh, and I have a little sheep in there. Um, it's a little like charm my boyfriend gave it to me because well he calls me a sheep and he said that this will keep me safe how cute <laughs> so that is my little sheep that goes everywhere with me are some people being sick in their mouths probably yes um, my glasses these are my prescription glasses they're Karen Millen um, you've probably seen them before I mean I've worn them on previous videos they are for reading, um, being in the computer, watching telly, anything that kind of requires any concentration from my eyeballs because they get tired. Hand cream. This is the best hand cream ever in the world ever. It's amazing, it smells so good, it's just awesome. I did, it was in my monthly favourites once so I'll link that video below, I won't rant on about it again, but it is amazing, it's lovely. Um, my, just my point and shoot camera. Um, again, in a little case made by my nan. Um, I'm actually thinking of starting to learn to make these, so if anybody's interested um, in them, let me know, because I might be making a few. Um, yeah, so that's that little case. And then this is my point and shoot. It's just a Samsung, um, I'm not sure on the model, or ST600. And yeah, it's just my point and shoot, which I take everywhere with me. Because um, you never know when you're going to need to take a photo, guys. Um, my car keys, it literally just got my car key on it. It used to have all my keys on it, but then they all started to fall off, so I just keep my car key on it. And that has a little Madame Two Swords um, key ring on it from when we went there on my birthday this year with us in the little London cab because we're cool cats, guys. We travel in style. A hairbrush because I always have my hairbrush with me because my hair is a mess and it needs brushing a lot because it gets knotty. A Topshop lipstick. This is infrared, which is the best one. Um, it's like an orangey colour. I'm sure you guys have all heard of it before. Love that. Not sure why it's in my bag, actually, because I haven't been wearing it. Um, Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. Um, I've just started using this. I've only used it a couple of times, but... Mmm, it smells so good. I love lemon. I've got like a weird obsession over anything lemony, but this is really good. I might write a blog post on that. Um, loads of memory sticks. 
from work. Um, I won't show you them because they'll tell you where I work, and I don't want to tell you that. <laughs> um, so yes, memory sticks from work. Um, some Fix and Rouge lip balm. This came in a subscription for a glossy box, and this is in Rambling Rose. Um, it says it's lips, face and body balm. I wouldn't really use it on my face or my body, but it's a really lovely lip balm. I've actually purchased a few more of these. Um, I think they're only a couple of quid each, so they're not expensive at all. Um, some headphones. Um, I keep these in my bag all the time, so I can listen and watch YouTube videos on my lunch break at work. Some lockets, honey and lemon lockets. I don't know why they're in there because I don't have a sore throat and I haven't for ages, so they're probably not right to eat. A cotton pad. It's not used. That's gross. You didn't see that. Um, my home, my house key. And it's got a little Nightmare Before Christmas fob on the top. And yes, because I love Nightmare Before Christmas. It's my favourite film. Some tree bore soft mints because I like to be minty fresh. Some more mints just in a little packet. Oh, they're um, just from like a company's branded name on them. Some seminar. Um, some Burt's Bees Lifeguard's Choice Water Weatherproofing Lip Balm for Sun and Snow. Oh God, I'm dropping everything. Mm. Um, so yes, that's good. I don't actually really like this, it makes your lips white. And that's not a look I like to go for. Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in Rhubarb. I actually wrote a whole blog post dedicated to this. It's awesome. It's just like a mentally lip tint. And it's really moisturising and lovely. Oh god, I'm dropping everything. Um, a receipt from Tesco's. Oh, it's not actually a receipt, it's just telling me that I can save money when I spend something because I've spent too much. A cancer research tag from when I bought something from cancer research, £4.50, size large. A floral clip from Primani. These were in my last haul, I think they're £1.50 or something. They're really cute. Oh, I'm so lovely. A nugget chocolate soft nugget rag wrapper. Really should clean my bag out more often. This is embarrassing. A Revlon lip butter in Tutti Fruity. This is really nice. It just gives a really nice kind of like shimmery effect and it's really nice for just on the go top ups and stuff. Like if you, for work, I wear this a lot because it's not too heavy and it doesn't look too drastic. A hair bubble because I always like to be able to just whack my hair up. It gets quite hot having a lot of hair, so it's nice to be able to just put up now and then. A pen, so you're always prepared, it's good to have a pen. And this one's cute because it's got a little gem on the end from my mother. A plaster with hair attached to it. Ooh. Um, some pennies. A Kirby grip more pennies, a badge with Nightmare Before Christmas on it, oh, my mum just walked past the window and was distracting me, mm. sorry guys, Some a 50p and a 20p, and finally, is that finally, yes there's nothing else in there, um, a model's own um, nail varnish in pink fizz. My friend had this on and I thought it would be really nice for my tootsies on holiday because I go on holiday on Saturday. Yay! I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm going to Italy for two weeks and it's going to be amazing. So yes, that's everything that's in my bag. Um, I did get a few requests to do a daily makeup routine. If that's still something you guys want to see, then maybe I will film it when I get back from holiday, so let me know. Um, if there's anything else you want to see, then let me know. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed what's in my bag, and I will speak to you soon.